the Irish came into their final home game of the 92 campaign with plenty of thoughts on their mind. It was to be the final game of the eventful series against Penn State, as well as a chance for the Irish to win games at home on successive Saturdays against ranked teams for only the third time in Notre Dame history. But more than anything, it was a chance for captains Rick Meyer, Demetrius DuBose, Irv Smith, and Devon McDonald to leave Notre Dame Stadium for the last time with smiles on their faces, something that hadn't happened for the last two senior classes. The contest opened optimistically enough for the Irish. Taking the opening kickoff, Notre Dame moved methodically for 53 yards, gaining 14 on a third down throw from Meyer to Smith. When Craig Hendrick booted the field goal through from 26 yards, five minutes into the contest, the Irish led 3-0. Tom Carter and John Covington combined for an interception on Penn State's first drive, but Notre Dame was unable to convert it into points. After freshman Bobby Taylor blocked a PAT following a Penn State touchdown, the snow and freezing temperatures began to make footing treacherous. Jim Flanagan forced a fumble by Penn State's Kerry Collins that Brian Radigan finally latched onto at the Penn State 14. The Irish barely missed converting on fourth down from the five, but the Irish did come back on their final try of the half to tie the score. Derek Mays took a near interception away from a Penn State defender, and Reggie Brooks displayed his hurdling ability for a gain of 13. Hendrick's kick from 31 yards out made it 6-6. The biggest gain of the game by either side came midway through the third period as Meyer found Lake Dawson for 30 yards. That enabled Hendrick to convert his third field goal chance, this one from 37 yards, for a 9-6 Irish lead. But the Nittany Lions tied the game with 8.35 left after a much needed goal line stand. And then took a 16-9 lead on a touchdown with 4.19 on the clock. Notre Dame seniors then led the Irish on a march that produced a conclusion now emblazoned on the minds of the 59,075 fans in the stadium. On second and 10, Meyer found Jerome Bettis for 21 yards down the near sideline. On second and 16, Meyer scrambled himself within a yard of the first down. Two plays later, he found Ray Griggs at the Penn State 17 with less than two minutes to go. From first and goal at the nine, Brooks scampered for five to the four. But Meyer was stopped after a gain of one and his third down throw bounced at Brooks' feet. The Irish had to use their final timeout to discuss a fourth and goal play to come from the Penn State three. They would use a play Lou Holtz normally liked to reserve for two-point conversions. Flank to the right is Reggie Brooks. One running back, Jerome Bettis. Back to throw. Over the middle. Pass to Bettis. Touchdown, Notre Dame! Jerome Bettis with a touchdown. He is mobbed in the end zone. With no timeouts remaining, Holtz and Meyer again combined their thoughts on the two-point conversion call that would win or lose the game with 20 seconds left on the clock. For Meyer, the other seniors, and their teammates, it proved to be a scenario they'll never forget. Three wide outs left, one out to the right. Back to throw, Meyer looks, 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 rolls to the right, pump fake, throws the ball, it is caught, Reggie Brooks! Reggie Brooks got it for a two-pointer, and Notre Dame is out in front, 17-16, with 20 seconds left. It was only the second pass reception ever by Brooks in a game, but it proved to be one for the memory books. As the players raised their helmets to the student section for the final time, the seniors could revel in the knowledge that their last efforts in Notre Dame Stadium 
constituted one of the greatest clutch finishes ever by a Notre Dame team.